This is a demonstration of caring for a patient with skin traction. Hi, my name is Summer. I'm going to be your nurse today. Um, washing my hands. Get some gloves on. Can you tell me your name? I'm Sarah James. Okay, can you tell me your date of birth? 1-1-1990. James, 90. Okay, perfect. Do you know where you are? I'm in the hospital. Do you have any allergies? I'm not allergic to anything. Okay, good. All right. Um, do you know what year it is? 2017. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to check your traction, your boot for traction, to make sure it's appropriately placed and check your neurovascular status. Okay? So... Um, are you having any pain? Mm, no, not really. Um, are you feeling like you're having any muscle spasm? Mm -mm. Or, okay. So the alignment is good. Straight with the hip. Everything's at a 90 degree angle. There's tension on the rope. The weight is dangling. It's not on the floor or sitting on the bed mattress. Toes are facing the ceiling. Knee is straight up. Okay, so now we're going to assess the six P's. Okay, so pulses, two plus, and I'm going to compare it with the opposite side. Can you wiggle your toes for me? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Capillary refill, good. Temperature is warm. Okay, it's dry. Okay. Um, now I'm going to um, check for pressure. What we do is that we remove the straps every four hours or per physician order, but every eight hours we are going to remove the boot and wash your leg and dry it really well and then reapply the boot. But right now I'm going to check for pressure. Okay, so we're going to put the weight on the bed so that when we unstrap it, it doesn't pull the boot off. Now I'm going to delicately remove the boot, trying to maintain the position. Okay. Okay. And then we open it up. Okay, we're going to check for any edema, any redness. We're going to check under the heel to make sure there's no pressure ulcers building up, any redness or blistering. Um, let's see. I don't see any redness. The temperature's good. There's no moisture. It's dry. Okay. Um, capillary refill is good. Okay, so now... I'm going to reapply the straps. I'm going to put the boot back on. Comparing it to the other side first seems to be the same. So everything's equal bilaterally. Alright, so I'm going to put the boot back on. And what we do is we do the strap from toes to nose. So we do the one closest to the toes first while minimizing movement. Okay. The straps need to be tight enough to keep the boot on when the weight is down, but not too tight as to cut off circulation. So you want it snug, but not so tight, which is why we're going to assess her again after we reapply the straps to make sure we don't have them on too tight. facing towards the ceiling, toes are facing towards the ceiling, and we're going to go ahead and gently put the weight back down to get the traction back, make sure that it's taut. Also, we want to make sure that this rope is a 90 degree angle. 
we can adjust it if we need to by loosening this and we can go up and down if we need to adjust the angle of the rope. Everything needs to be 90 degrees and then we tighten it here. Okay, and make sure there's no knots. Everything's nice, no knots. Then we're gonna assess our six P's again to make sure that the straps aren't too tight. Pulses, okay. Wiggle your toes for me, please. Capillary refill. The toes are warm, they're not cool or anything, so that's a good sign. All right, pulses are good. All right, she can move. Now we're gonna check range of motion in the non-affected side. Can you move your ankle? Bend your knees. Okay, great. Um, any numbness or tingling in your toes? Mm -mm. No, no numbness or tingling? No. Okay, that's good. Um, and I believe that that's 